Hey everyone, happy Monday. My name is Nate and welcome to the first Smart Speed Showcase. This series is going to be all about giving you insights on how customers are using Smart Suite to help you understand the possibilities of our platform and get you working smarter. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how venture capitalists are managing deals in Smart Suite. Let's dive right in. So let's talk about the structure first. This is a venture deals and CRM solution, and you can download it from our solution template library, and you'll get a result that looks a lot like this. We have a company's app linked to deals which is linked to contacts. Now a company can have multiple deals and I'll go ahead and show you some of the relevant fields we're collecting for these companies. Things like industry, size, the assigned to, the status of the deal, maybe total funding round, which is rolling up from the value of the deals. And if we jump over here, we can see there are some similar fields, but just some light information on the deals inside of this app. And then contacts, if you were just to use Smart Suite for a venture deal CRM, you could have contacts inside of here, or if you're using it for other processes and you wanted to link those contacts to other solutions, you could have a separate solution for a CRM. It's really up to your preference. So if you're a VC firm, you're probably working heavily inside of email and a lot of your deal flow is going to be coming from there. So let's jump over to Gmail. So now that we're inside of Gmail, you might get an email that looks something like this. This is just an example. Someone sends you a deal on an existing company you have. Maybe it's another round they're raising, or maybe it's a follow-up, just something you need to add information to inside of your CRM. So what I've done using our apply partnership is created a button inside of our Gmail right here. And what this allows you to do is when you click on it, or if you want to add information about a deal inside of Smart Suite, it'll pull up this modal. Let's say this is an existing company inside of your Smart Suite account. You've already invested them. Like I said, it's a follow on. What you can do is search for the company. Now, if it exists inside of Smart Suite, it'll pop up. If it doesn't, you can enter a new name for a company. And it's going to ask you questions about things you want to collect for that company. If I hit next, another modal is going to pop up and it's going to ask me some light information about the deal. So maybe this is a series D on that company. You can put the status, let's say it's in due diligence is maybe from another VC. So you can keep track of that, the round amount. And if you notice the email source and the description are actually pre-filled. Now you can have these be automatically pre-filled. This is coming from who is sending the address, but if you want to edit it, you are able to as well. The description is actually pulling from the body of the email and you actually can add on to it here. When you hit create, what's going to happen is you're going to create a deal inside of your CRM. Let's jump back to smart suite. So jumping back to smart suite, we can see that the deal was actually created right in here. All the other fields are inside of here and it's automatically linked back to the company and you can access that company by clicking on it here and you can see the other prospective deals, other information that you've used to record inside of this app. So now that you have the deal inside of smart suite, how are you going to manage it? Well, this status field here is a big indicator of the action that needs to take place for that specific deal. If you want to hold a due diligence meeting with your team and you want to talk about the deals that are going through due diligence process, you can create a view to help you accomplish that. So I created this by filtering where the next action or the status is due diligence. And this will show you all those deals that are in due diligence. So when you're meeting with your team and you want to have all of those deals in one place, this is the view for you. Now, let's say you wanted to dive into a specific company. You can simply click on that and it will open up with a record view. And what I've done is sectioned off some important parts of these fields. So at the top, we have that basic deal information. If we close this, we can move down to the notes and the next steps. So when you're in a meeting, you're probably going to be taking the notes right here and you can create checklist items or next steps you can have your team take and you can assign to them and assign due date. So during your meeting, you can create these next steps for your team to accomplish. And this is going to show up in the my work section of their smart suite account so they can work on it right away. Down here, we have the company and people attached. And then at the bottom, you can include things like pitch decks, financials, and any other PDFs that you need. So now that you've gone through the process of meeting on a deal, and maybe you need to send some information out to your team, what I've done is created two more buttons using Ply directly inside of this deals record. We have this button here, and when you press it, it's going to send a message to Slack. Modal is going to pop up asking what you want to say, and this link 
back to this record is going to pre-fill in this field here. Let's say you wanted to send something back in the email because that's where a lot of your work is happening. You can press this button here and a mode will pop up asking what you want the message to be. You can type the message in and who to send it to. You can have this be pre-filled with the email source, but you can just type in the email. When I hit send, what's gonna happen, it's gonna send the email and also a comment is gonna be left saying what was sent and who, and you can see the timing of when that was sent. This is a great way to keep a log about what's happening with this deal. The running log of the comments paired next to the information about the deal, the notes and the next steps is a great combination and a really all encompassing way to manage your deals in SmartSuite. That wraps up this SmartSuite showcase. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about our platform and how VCs are managing deals in SmartSuite. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you next week.